Here I am Matthew and welcome to episode 6 of Chelsea's Guided to Glory. If you haven't seen the previous episodes I would advise you go and watch them first. And in this episode we'll be running through the winter transfer window uh, along with playing a Champions League match against Borussia Dortmund along with the Carabao Cup final against Manchester United. So let's get into the video. And first of all, I have the loan to Barrow of our young Irish, Northern Irish centre-back Sam McKelland, who will be going out there till the end of the season. And then secondly, we've got the most uh, unironic transfer I've ever made. Uh, we've got Jesus Corona, who I've brought in to actually... He was the, the highest advised player on the left wing for us to sign, so I've signed him. Uh, but his name's a bit unfortunate at the moment. And then we've got the loan deal of Irish striker George Nunn going out to Cork City to try and get some first team football in the Irish League. And following that one, we've got Dianel Simeu, who has gone to Harrogate Town, I believe. To get some first team football, he is a Cameroonian centre back. Uh, hopefully, to, to grow a bit for the future. And the first announcement of a player leaving, he will be leaving at the end of the season, even though he's out on loan. Uh, Kennedy will be going to Al Duhail. And, yep, uh, we will get him off the books. And the first transfer leaving this window, uh, Pedro. Uh, after we brought in Jesus Corona, we had no need for Pedro anymore, so uh, we have sold him to Everton for 5.75 million. And following that, another signing for Everton here, we didn't need Olivier Giroud anymore. Nice to cash in on him before he left on a free 5.5 million to Everton. Everton have got a good, couple of good deals there to improve the squad, really, from us. And following up with that, one of the best deals I've ever made on this game, we've sold David Zepacosta to Brighton for thirty million. And that that's a it's a really positive deal in my my opinion. Twenty up front, ten in future fees, I believe. And then our final sale of the window, uh third choice goalkeeper Jamal Blackman has gone for five million to Derby County. As we didn't need him anymore. And we now announced the new contract until 2024 of Jorginho, uh, 200k a week deal. Uh, initially, we had uh, broken down in contract talks, but uh, we went in again and he signed a new deal. And now we've got the loan of Armando Broja, who is he's English, but he's also Albanian. Uh, he's, he's a striker, he's gone on loan to Ebb's Fleet. In uh, the National League, I believe. And then we've got our second signing of the window. Bringing in new right back. We, we wanted to upgrade the position, I said, like I said in a previous episode. We brought in Josh Kimmich from Bayern Munich for £114 million if all the add-ons go through. And following that, we loaned out Henry Lawrence, a defensive midfielder. But you can play it pretty much anywhere. Uh, to Crew Alexandra in the the lower leagues of the EFL. And then we've got a new contract for Emerson. £69,000 per week. We'll keep him here till 2024. However, left-back's probably one of the positions I'll be upgrading sooner rather than later, so he might get sold in the future. And then we've got another loan. Pierre-Emmanuel Equaralimbi is a defensive midfielder slash centre-back. He's French, and he has gone out to Red Star in the French uh, third tier, I believe. And now we've got Brian Fiabima. He's a Norwegian winger, I believe, and he has signed his first professional contract with us. He's got some good potential, so it'd be nice if we can get that potential out of him if we are in this save for that long. And then we've got Xavier Simons, who is a central midfielder slash defensive midfielder who has also signed his first contract uh, professionally with our club. And 
now we look back at the matches we've played since the two Liverpool games last time. And pretty much all wins apart from the one game where we went uh, where Man United came to us and beat us 1-0. But we did play quite well in that game still. And that has left us uh, sixth in the league, uh, but we do have two games in hand. And you can see, yeah, we're, we're through to the fifth round of the FA Cup. And we've drawn Liverpool for that one. And now we've got Levi Colwell. He has signed his professional contract with us. And that will keep me here for a couple more years. And even if we don't ever use him, we'll be able to sell him on for profit. So we'll now move into the first leg of our trans uh, Champions League knockout round uh, game in the round of 16 against Borussia Dortmund. And Dortmund are a team I really, really like. They're probably my favourite team outside of the Premier League, or outside of English football, I mean. Um, but D Dortmund are a team I really, really like. I like the majority of their players, um, and I, I have done for a good while. Um, they've got they've got uh, a lot of good players. They've got Erling Haaland, the new... Uh, the new young signing that they bought in the winter transfer window in real life, uh, along with the likes of Marco Royce, Jadon Sancho, Julian Brandt, uh, even Emre Chan, Axel Witzel in the midfield. I really like them players too. But we see Dortmund are on the first tech here, and Jadon Sancho is threatening from out wide to the wing back, and <laughs> it's uh, it's not a great start for us as a team here, going one 0 down in the the first knockout round of the Champions League. And it's uh, Ashraf Hakimi who gets it to Sancho, and Sancho hits it across the box to Julian Brandt, who's in a hell of a lot of space when he really shouldn't be. And it puts us 1-0 down immediately. Um, but that will give us added incentive to go on and score score goals now. Uh, it, it's nice to, to play the away game first, I think, because... Uh, then you can you can see what you're going into your home fixture. Your better chance of you winning at home, I'd say. And also you've got uh, your own supporters at home. And if you go away first, you can see how many away goals you can score as well because of that rule. And it, just before the 17 minute mark, we have a great move come up uh, come out to the left hand side. Kante to Emerson running up the left hand side, who's in a load of space. And Emerson takes the time to run past his men and whip into the box. And Barkley, directly in the centre, somewhat over the penalty spot, can get it in and bring us back to one all. And that away goal could be vital if it stays as this. But then we've got the ball again now. We're moving forward. Christian Pulisic, Kante, out to Corona, into the middle, and Tammy Abraham... Uh, doesn't quite get a shot away, and Dortmund managed to clear it. So so far, this is this has been a very interesting game. Uh, it's been a bit of an exciting one so far. Not used to getting this much, uh, this many highlights on a video. Usually, the games I pick out end up being terrible. But uh, we see a Kanji now to Sancho, and it's over the top, and Hakimi's way up the pitch from right back, and his shot went. Uh, considerably wide, didn't challenge Kepper at all really, but we've got a throw in here, and that's Azpilicueta running into the middle, and it's headed away, and Halland picks it up now, but we dispossess him and go back to Kepper in goal, and we are moving further to uh, Jorginho into Pulisic who cuts inside, and Berkey makes the save I believe, and we've got a throw in now, Azpilicueta to Barkley, uh, it's whipped into the middle somehow, but uh, Roman Berkey ends up with it. Emre Chan now. Marco Royce back to Chan. Forward to Guerrero. Who, and uh, the pass back is cut out by uh, Christian Pulisic, I believe. Who's threaded it through to Tammy Abraham. Who's in, he's in a great position to shoot. And here we can see it, it was just a disappointing pass from Mats Hummels, I believe, who made the mistake there. And Pulisic can just thread it through to Abraham, who's in enough space to get a, a great shot off and put us 2-1 up. And that's a really, really, really positive start to this this tie. We've got to... Uh, if we can win away from home, that 
almost guarantees us the the route through to the next round, I'd say. Because, uh, I mean, two away goals. I mean, it's it's two on an aggregate to us already, as we get another highlight here. Emerson throwing out. It ends up back with Emerson, who, who hits it across the box to Cesar Spuqueta coming in. And it's gone out for a goal kick there. Uh, but at half-time, 2-1 to us on aggregate. If we took that to the to our our home ground um even if uh, the, the Dortmund would have to to score at least two goals to beat us I believe um because if they if they beat us 1-0 we would go through on away goals anyway so yeah I, I believe Dortmund have to score at least two at our place if if this is how the match finishes we're going into the second half now uh, we can see both teams have got a, a few standout performances. Uh, it just really the uh, goal scorers, assist makers who have got a uh, higher average ratings. As Thomas Delaney's come on for Axel Witzel, and Manuel Akenji has got a yellow card here. But we're going to make our first change here, and in this one we are bringing on uh, Mateo Kovacic for N'Golo Kante because Kante hasn't really putting the performance in this match that we would want him to. Uh, and he has been putting a lot of good performances in, in midfield. So it's a bit disappointing. I'd say Kante, Kante is our best player in, in the real world on this game. I'm, I'm not sure. I haven't really worked out who our best player is yet as we bring on Callum hudson Doy for Jesus Corona. Um, I, I'd like to see hudson Doy. Uh, gradually become our our best player. I think he's got the highest potential out of anyone in the club. I think he's got a a five star potential. If we and uh, at the rate we're going at the moment, he will keep he will keep playing or coming off the bench. Uh, especially now we've sold Pedro, who was acting as a as a step in left winger rather than the right wing, where he's uh, where he's more comfortable. And that just meant we didn't need him anymore. And we bring on Antonio Rudiger for uh, Emerson here. And we've we've swapped Aspilqueta to right back, brought to Mori. Uh, Aspilqueta from right back to left back, brought to Mori to right back. As uh, he can play there reasonably well. As we see Kurt Zuma gets a yellow card now. And it's uh, we've got a corner here, I believe that was, but uh, nothing really came of that. As Antonio Rudiger will get a yellow card now. Uh, we for uh, for a lot of this season, I seem to have had the instruction to uh, to get stuck in on a lot. It seems to fit our game plan quite well. But I believe in at least one case it's ended up with us getting a fine because I think we had seven yellow cards in one of the Premier League games we played. But uh, that's a it's a very very good win for us that one. We we needed that win, and it's a it's a nice way to start off the knockout rounds of the Champions League. This is the first time in a long time I've I've got a uh, top of my group in this game. Uh, Tammy Abraham, man of the match in that one. Uh, it says we were fortunate to beat Dortmund, but I don't think so. I think uh, I think it were a reasonably balanced game. When I saw the highlights, we were doing well, and we've got our first award of the season. Callum hudson Adoy has got Premier League Young Player of the Month for February, which is a uh, it's a good good record to get, a uh, decent average rating, and we also won Manager of the Month, which is the first time I have done that in this save. And we can see beating out Jose Mourinho and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer uh, after we won all three of our games in the month. But now we'll move on to the League Cup final. And in this game you can see we've got Ingol Kepa, Zuma and Tamari, and Aspilicueta and Emerson making up the defence. Jorginho and Kovacic in midfield, Ross Barkley in front of them. Pulisic and hudson Adoy out wide with Tammy Abraham up front. And this should be a very good game. It's a, it's another competition. It could be our second competition to uh, rub off the list of competitions to win. And in our first season as well. So that's uh, it would be a really positive first season if we can, if we can get to 
I mean, we've already got the Super Cup win, but uh, getting the Carabao Cup out of the way uh, in the first season was kind of one of the goals I was thinking of, uh, seeing as though we're only going for Champions League qualification, and I think they only want us to get to the quarters of the Champions League this year, which uh, we've put ourselves in a position to do. And I think they want this to get to the FA Cup final, but um, we'll see about that. Uh, obviously, I'd like to get to the FA Cup final, and if we get to the final, it's a, it's a one one time game. We can we can just play a, as well as we can in that game, and we have all the chance to win. But first time we see the players playing in this game, and Manchester United's attack has let us get away on the counter. Uh, but that's come to nothing. It's back with our goalkeeper now, Kepa. Forward through to Tamori and Emerson. Back to Tamori. They're just passing it between themselves now. And Hudson Odoi, who's cutting into the middle, sends it out wide to Pulisic. And it's scrambled into the net by Tammy Abraham. Uh, it seems like Aaron Wambiseka was the man to make the mistake in this one. But Hudson Odoi ran into the midfield. Pulisic making a good run. Over the right hand side of the pitch. And it's brought into the middle. And Wambisek has just headed it down in front of Tammy Abraham. And he's scrappily got the ball into the back of the net. And he was he, he was he was very much onside there. Uh, there's no offside appeal that could be given for that. But it's, it's nice to get 1-0 up. In our second uh, final of the season. So we could be in store for a second competition win. So far we've kept Manchester United completely out of the game. And now they have a free kick here. And Juan Mata, our former player I believe that is, has whipped a free kick in. And Axel Tuanzebe has got on the end of it. The young English defender. Getting into Manchester United's team already on this game. It's nice to see. But to Enzebe, destroying a few of our hopes there, bringing it back to one all. But uh, we see here, we, we seem to have been the better team so far. And uh, we, we don't really have much to show for it. It's one all. And it appears like it's going to be one all going into... Uh, going into the second half. So, first half, not really proved anything so far. We've only got, uh, we're, we're basically back to where we started. Uh, it, it really doesn't matter at this stage if it's one all or nil nil. That that doesn't help us in any way. We need to, to outscore Manchester United in this game, or it'll go to extra time. Uh, or we'll lose. Which uh, it, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be a good feeling around the club. But uh, now we've got Barkley whipping in a free kick, and Jorginho off the end of the free kick has scored it, and that is a great way to start the second half here. Barkley hits it over the top. Jorginho at the back post once again, getting getting goals in from the back post. It's a really, really good way of playing. With this Chelsea team it appears. And that puts us 2-1 up. And now we've got a free uh, corner. I apologise. Uh, but that has been headed out for a goal kick I believe. And so far. So far we've had a we've had a good game as Pulisic gets a yellow. But Manchester United are on the counter attack here. Marcus Rashford cutting through. And his shot really wasn't close as they bring on Jesse Lingard on for Daniel James have to say Jesse Lingard is my least favorite player <laughs> i do not really like the way he plays football or I, I don't know something about him i just don't particularly like but uh, we're going to make a we're going to make a, a change here i thought about bringing on Fia Beamer. um but I thought, no, actually, it's a final. It's probably best we stick with the first team players. So I bring on Mason Mount for Hudson to die. Um, as Manchester United make a second change, Mason Greenwood comes on for Marcus Rashford. And we will make our second change now. And I believe here we are bringing on uh, Josh Kimmick 
for Cesar Spilqueta. Josh Kimmich, our new signing, obviously, in the January window. Um, probably the world's best right back, I, I think, on the game anyway. I was also looking at Sergio Roberto, but I decided he was more of a central midfielder. But that is a very, very good move for Manchester United to make. You see, we are, uh, Mason Greenwood stood over a free kick, hits the wall, Greenwood then runs it down and hits it across into the middle, where Brandon Williams is in a load of space after the wall of wall of kind of collapsed and chased down Greenwood. Brendan Williams in, in so much space in the middle, and Kepper was unlucky to get to it. Uh, not to get to it, but uh, regardless, he, he still doesn't. And that puts us to two all. So at this rate, with ten minutes left, it looks like it could go to extra time as Diego Dallo comes on. But now we've got a throw-in. Barkley, and it's hit into the middle. It's picked up at the edge of the box by Kovacic. Into the middle, and Barkley has had an outstanding game today. And Barkley gets the goal to put us 3-2 up with 8 minutes left on the clock. And it looks as if we could be winning the EFL Cup this season. Oh, that's a shattering shot into the back of the net there. Uh, David De Gea won't be happy about that one going in. But Barkley's shot was exquisite. And I think we're going to make our final substitution now. Uh, and I'm bringing Emerson off here, it looks like. And Christensen will be the man to come on. And we move Tamori out to left back th for this game. As uh, as Pilqueta has already gone off, we can't move him across. And we've got a free kick, Barkley now. And David Hare makes a good save, so that doesn't go in. But Martial's been launched away on the left-hand side. He's cut into the box, and Kepa's made it extremely vital save as well and now we've got a free kick here but uh, it's gone out for a corner I believe David De Gea got the save out there and Mount whips the corner in but it's cleared and Mata picks it up and it's gone to nothing but Manchester United have the ball again now Martial is hit out to the, the wing back Fred now in midfield to Anzabe over to Williams and Williams shot's gone very wide and there's only a few minutes now for Manchester United to try and get back in this game. But it appears as if we are going to get our second competition win of the season. Which is is very, very good way to start this save. As our goal is to win the trophies. The major trophies in this uh, in football manager. So, it, it's we uh, we had an all-out out game there it's a it's a great effort from our team and we can see now everyone celebrating this win and that ticks off a ticks off another competition which is it's really nice to take off another competition it's one of the ones uh, the league cups kind of the one i wanted to get out of the way because if we can't win the league cup we could be here for a very very long time which would not be great but ross barkley getting man of the match in that one and that's that's a brilliant, brilliant uh, ending to this episode. And as you can see now, uh, everything's still in the same place. We now have three games in hand on Tottenham, uh, who, are, who are the fourth team in the Champions League spots who will need to pass. Uh, we've qualified the Europa League at least through the Cup, but hopefully we will set our minds on bigger things. But that now is going to be the end of this episode. If you liked, please... Like, comment, and subscribe to notifications on. Uh, that's all from me now. Cheers for watching, and goodbye.